Picture this, you're at an important meeting, you start to sweat profusely, and everyone can see it because your sweat is red or blue. True story, sweat can get crazy and come out green, blue, or even black. Ew, gross. When you think about it, what actually is sweat? I mean, emitting liquid through your skin is a pretty bizarre concept. What's all this water coming out of me? Do I have leaks? Nope. It's actually an advanced cooling system, similar to what cars and some fancy computers like your gamers friends have. Through sweat, your body can eliminate up to 360 calories per hour. When your body is hot, and I'm talking about temperature, not appearance, your brain gives the order to open the floodgates. You get drenched in sweat, and as that liquid evaporates, it takes the heat with it, just like when your dog steals your midnight snack. That's why it's better to let sweat do its job and evaporate. Wiping it away will only make your body pump out more and more sweat. And you wouldn't interrupt an expert, right? So, there are three types of sweat. Let me break it down for you. The first one is the kind that cools you down. The second type is thicker and shows up in stressful situations like during midterm exams or when your crush appears out of nowhere. It's pretty simple. When you're stressed or scared, the adrenaline spikes up, like an alarm system that activates your muscles, making them tense and ready for action. Plus, it causes your blood vessels to widen, which cranks up your body temperature. The third type of sweat appears when you chow down on spicy food, like those wings you can't get enough of or flaming Hot Cheetos. The spicy stuff basically sucker punches the cells on your tongue, and your brain, always on high alert, cranks up the blood circulation just to be safe. And guess what? Yep. It increases your body temperature too, so it's easy to do the math. When the temperature rises, sweat appears. That leads us to another question. Why do some of us sweat more than others? Why have we been so cursed? It's normal to sweat two to three cups a day, but there are people who can sweat twice as much, and other lucky ones who hardly sweat at all and save millions on deodorants. Scientists still don't know why I drew the short straw in the sweat department, but their best guess is that it's all in the genes. Thanks a lot, mom and dad. Of course, other factors like how fit I am, what I eat, and my overall health can also play a role, but on this occasion, I'm totally blaming this one on my parents. But regardless of the amount, sometimes what matters is the bouquet. There are people who sweat a lot and don't smell bad, and others who, with just a few drops, seem like Pepe Le Pew. But believe it or not, my smelly friend, sweat itself is odorless. It's those bacteria on your skin that are the real culprits. They're like tiny little villains, maliciously breaking down your sweat into all sorts of yucky smelling components like sulfur, ammonia, and fatty acids. And they give sweat a bad reputation. The smell of women's sweat is different from men's, thank God as the skin is different. Men can smell like cheese, and women like grapes or onions. It would help us sweat less if you subscribe to our channel. That way, we wouldn't have so much anxiety when we check the numbers. Sweat not only interacts with the bacteria on the skin, sweat is like the neighborhood gossip lady, spreading rumors everywhere and revealing secrets of the human body. That's why sweat can be used in anti-doping tests and other exams to check up on your health and see what's going on inside your body. But wait, there's more. Sweat also serves as a secret messenger, releasing substances called pheromones that can actually influence the behavior of those around you. It's like having your own personal billboard that sends out biochemical signals. Women have a strong sense of smell when it comes to detecting signals like anxiety in others. It's like they have a built-in radar that picks up the scent of stressing people. On the other hand, men appear to be less sensitive. However, they do have a special talent for sniffing out other important things, like spoiled food. Men have their priorities straight when it comes to using their noses, let me tell you. But the differences don't stop there. Some researchers collected samples from the hands of men and women, and after analyzing the proteins in the sweat with a powerful machine, they were able to predict the gender of the person with 96% accuracy just by the odor of their hands. This discovery will be a game changer for forensics. Imagine being able to instantly rule out suspects just because their gender doesn't match the odor of the crime scene. It's like having a detector that can narrow down the list of potential culprits in a snap. Other geniuses are working on high-tech sensors that can keep tabs on your sweat signals in real time, like a 24-7 surveillance system for your body. Kind of creepy. Imagine a smartwatch that tells you the time and alerts you when you're getting too stressed out. Maybe one day it could even help you find your true love by analyzing your sweat when you're around that special someone. Forget about dating apps. Let your sweat do the job. Can you change that smell? Will we be able to pick our scent? Tech experts are cooking up fabrics that can react to light, temperature, and other signals. Even they are figuring out ways to make your clothes smell nice by releasing fragrances. It's like having a built-in air freshener in your shirt so you can say goodbye to stinky sweat odors for good. 
Someday, clothing will be able to counteract our nacho cheddar cheese smell and activate preset scents. We could choose in addition to the color and any logo of your favorite band, the smell of your t-shirt. Although I don't know if it's a good thing. Who doesn't like the smell of cheese in the morning?